Hi everyone, I'm going to do a quick video making soup and uh, this one is Black Sands from the Summer Range. So I'm working on summer stock at the moment and I've already done cold pillow this morning and now I'm just going to start this one. I've just mixed in my oils and my lye and I'm just going to pour in my essential oils. And this is just straight patchouli and it's a nice dark patchouli so it's a strong and beautiful scent if you like patchouli which a lot of my customers do and I put it in a lot of my soaps because I love it. So we're going to do a gradient today. Or if you want to be really tossy about it, we'll call it an ombre. <laughs> but I call them gradient soaps because it's a gradient of colour. Getting lighter as we get towards the top of the soap. So, that's that in there. It's quite a big batch. I'm, doing, I'm using my uh, larger moulds again because the summer range is really popular. It's actually one of our best, like almost as busy as Christmas, so I have to make big ones. I'm just going to get my mould. My mould. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to start this off. I fill up this. And I'm going to add the majority of the charcoal in here. I might need a bit more of that. I might need just a little bit more. on the next bit, but we'll see. far away but can't really get you much closer I don't think maybe I can maybe I can aim you down there you go so I'm just going to do a little layer and reserve some for the next layer so I don't want to pour in the whole lot but I want most of it start to get like a more grey. I'm going to add a bit more charcoal because I want it to be still quite dark. So I've got a bloody Fitbit flex keeps going to sleep on me. I don't know why. Make sure 
it's mixed in well. I don't want any like streaks really. Okay, spoon. Spoon it on now. This has got, gone back to my original recipe that I ever started with, um, when I started making soap, this is the recipe I used, and it's uh, coconut and palm, and olive, and sunflower, and cocoa butter, and it's a nice, um, a nicer lather than the ones I have been making. I, I use a lot of rapeseed oil. Rapeseed oil is great, but um, I wanted to just go back. I just wanted to start making soaps like I did before, and yeah, I just like them. I like them a bit better, you know? So back to the old school, I guess, which is always nice. Okay, it doesn't have to be too perfect. Pour some more in. Just bear with me, it's thickening up quite a lot now. just pour, oops, we can just pour this on I think, maybe, oh no, we'll just keep spooning it on. Everybody goes mad for this one because it's quite rare, even though it shouldn't be. It's quite rare for people to just make straight up patchouli essential oil soap. It's usually mixed with something. I usually mix it with things, but when I did this one, I thought, oh, I just want patchouli. I don't want anything else. And it turned out a lot of other people did too. So it's, uh, it was going to go general catalogue, and then I decided not to do that because I didn't want people to get bored of it. See how we do this time. It's getting super thick in there. Got a mica line. Through the centre. 
I'll do the top before I put the top bit on. See how that comes out. Then I want my bucket. Just add my titanium dioxide because I want this top to be a little bit whiter than the rest. Of the soap. Just bear with me if you can't see, I'm just mixing in this white colour so I can just finish it. It's got really thick so. It round. I like making a cake. It's like a frosting sort of texture. Sorry, I'm a bit quiet, just concentrating, <laughs> trying to get it all done without stressing. Okay, a bit of a mess, but I'm going to do... Just be a bit of a strange top, but it doesn't matter. It's pretty cool, actually. It's like uh, this is inspired by the black sands in Hawaii, and uh, Hawaii is like my dream destination for a holiday. I've never been, but I want to go. <laughs> So this, that it's picking up some of that nice blue mica is kind of cool because it looks like, yeah, kind of like Hawaiian blue, I guess. So that's nice. We, this is a four bar batch. This is a, I think it comes out about 50 odd bars of soap, this one. There's my usual, well, my this was my usual for all my soaps, but some of the release, um, some of the general catalogue don't need to be made in huge batches because I bring out so many I don't need to make them so big anymore so mm. okay. 
I'll leave it like that because I actually like that rough sort of get bloody goggles off. The goggles have got the soap all on the lens. <laughs> yeah, I like this sort of nice gnarly rustic look. This happened last year as well, but I used like a different coloured mic, I used like a copper one, but this one I think is better. So we'll see what that's like when we cut it tomorrow. It's Good Friday tomorrow, so um, I'll probably be up here to come and cut these soaps up. So there is Black Sands. Mmm, dreamy. Okay, I'll see you soon. I'll, I'll do a cutting video. Okay, bye.